Hi there, my name is Balab Bihani and I'm part of the Coherence development team. Today I'm going to talk about the new Coherence Memcached Adapter feature that got added in the Coherence 12.13 release. The idea behind the Memcached Adapter is to allow any Memcached client that has support for the binary protocol to talk to Coherence servers. This will provide an easy migration path for customers using Memcached servers to start using Coherence in their application and gradually start taking advantage of all the coherence features and functionalities. Memcached protocol support is added in the proxy service. You can configure the new Memcached acceptor similar to the existing TCP or HTTP acceptor. The acceptor is bound to a coherence partition cache that can be accessed by Memcached clients. For advanced use, use cases, it even allows sharing objects between coherence and Memcached clients using PATH. Provided the a POP serializer can be used in the memcached client. For example, spy memcached is one such mem client library that allows to plug in custom serializers. Here you can see an example of a memcached acceptor configuration for a proxy service. The acceptor is bound to a particular partition cache and its listen address and port is given by address provider in the operational config. Memcached acceptor also allows secure access from memcached clients. It can be configured to do username password authentication whenever a memcached client connects and also one can do fine grain authorization checks when accessing the cache entries. Let's see a small demo of the memcached acceptor. And let me show you the cache config first. So here I have a, a cache mapping defined for a distributed cache. And I have defined a proxy scheme with the memcached acceptor that is bound to a distributed cache memcache and as address provider for memcached one. I have another memcached proxy server where I have enabled interop. Uh, this flag is needed whenever you are doing a path interop with the memcached client and uh, coherence clients. Also, I have enabled security in this memcached acceptor uh, and it has an address provider of memcached two. Uh, let's look at the uh, operational config. Uh, it's the standard operational config here with the cluster config, and I have defined a memcached address provider with address localhost and 11211 and 11212 port. And I've also defined a identity asserter, my own identity asserter, for doing uh, authentication whenever the memcached client connects. So let's start the server here. So as you can see uh, here, uh, uh, the memcached client acceptor is listening uh, on port 11211 and another one is listening on port 11212. Uh, first, let me show you uh, uh, a Python client which is uh, uh, which will talk to the memcached acceptor. So here I have a binary memcached Python client which connects to port 11211 and it sets a string and gets that string then it sets an integer key, uh, increments the key and get that value back. So if I run this Python client you can see that it set the value to test value, it got the value back as test value it set the int key to 100, it incremented it by 10, and then it got the updated value of 110 here. Next, let me show you a, a path example where I'll be adding a path object using coherence client and then reading that same path object using a spy memcached client. So, this is my path object, a simple path object which takes a name and an age. Uh, and this is my coherence path client which basically gets handled to the name cache and inserts the path object in with the key path key into the cache. Uh, next let me show you the spy memcached client. The spy memcached client uh, because I have enabled uh, authentication it basically uh, create, sends the auth, auth info with the username as username and password as password. 
creates a spy memcached to client and connects to the adapter on port 11212. Uh, next, what it does, it, it creates a path transcoder, which is a spy memcached serializer, deserializer. Uh, 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 I, I'll, I'll show you the path transcoder code in a moment. And then it gets the path user uh, uh, directly from the uh, component server. As you can see we can have directly got the path object here. Uh, let me show you the path transcoder. So uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, this is a spy memcache D object. But what, what I do here is when I'm encoding the object, I basically use the code and externalizer helper to convert the object using the configurable path context so that it, it turns into, it turns into a, 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 a binary of the of the path object and then when I'm deserializing it it basically gets the binary and then using the externalizer helper and the configurable path con context it converts into a path object so let's run the demo here so I'll first run the coherence client which will basically insert the uh, path object into the cache next let's run the spy mem cache the client uh, so as you can see here this guy got the path contest object back here so i hope you find the new mem cache adapter feature to be useful thank you for taking time to watch this video presentation you can also find more info about coherence through these various channels